Ricky Hatton until he too came unstuck against Samuel Malinga, much like Conan Lines. And he's been regrouping since. Let's see how he fared tonight up against the Hungarian Joseph Matolci, a former European title contender. <laughs> Well, Ted Barmy is right up there among the top light welterweights in the country, but he's had a couple of setbacks along the way and uh, he's still rebuilding after being beaten by the South African Samuel Malinga and beaten conclusively in Plymouth last July. He's in here with the Hungarian Josef Matolci, who gave James Hare, one of our top welterweights, a pretty good argument before what looked like a premature stoppage in the 10th round. So Matolci can look after himself a bit. He's got a fair old stoppage record as well. He's in the black trunks, Army from Brixton. 14 wins, two defeats so far for him. Bit of a puncher, that's the reputation anyway. Needs to improve his defence a bit. That was the evidence of the last fight, Jim. Yeah, well, uh, one bit of good news, he was completely shattered after his loss. He was saying he was uh, too embarrassed to walk down the road, so that's good news because uh, boxing's not a game for good losers. But I think they're doing the right thing, giving them a stiff taste on the way back. Don't you want to show you still have confidence in your fighters. If you drop him back down to journeyman level, then he starts wondering. But this really is a test for him tonight. Good body shots from Matolchi, who, when we saw him against James Hare, looked like he brought a bit of confidence to the ring. There's a bit of a boxing scene developing in Hungary these days. They had this time Kovac, didn't they, who had the WBO featherweight championship for a while. last time, that's a good right uppercut from Barmy, was that he was very open to right hands, he got taken out by one, I think Samuel Malinga. Yeah, I think things were just going a little bit too well for him, he was finding, he was doing everything well within himself, and he just got shocked that night, but I think what he needs tonight, he uh, doesn't want to throw too many punches, but he wants the accuracy and the sharpness, because this fellow will have to be discouraged, he'll keep coming, so you want to meet him with good, solid punches. Just uh, looking to see whether he's keeping that left glove up a bit higher tonight. But Torchy's made a pretty good solid start and gets through with the right hand. And significantly, Barmy wanted to grab hold immediately after it landed. I think the physical strength has had an impression on Barmy already. I don't know that he expected uh, Torchy to be quite so strong. Another good body shot from the Hungarian who's done the more eye-catching work in this first round. Barmy does get there with the right and another of his uppercuts as well. He talked very big uh, before that fight down in Plymouth. And uh, it was all a bit embarrassing for him afterwards. They uh, were giving it the big build up. He was getting star status and everything. And it all went horribly wrong. So there are things to prove again for him. He doesn't look shell shocked in any way. He still looks to have had that, that natural confidence. But that wasn't the best of starts for him. Coaches round. Second round of six of this one, and uh, all the signs early on that it will be no easy comeback for Barmy, but he finds a right hand there. Great start to the round, and he's on shaky legs there. The Hungarian, what an answer from Barmy right at the start of round two after he'd had an uncomfortable opening round. He can hit. Yeah, as I was saying in the first round, it's solid punches, pick the shots, think about defence. Every punch has to be solid to discourage this fellow. He's been on the floor before and come back uh, and gets himself back into fights again, so he's certainly tough enough. How much is that taken out of Matolchi? The answer might be a lot. Another right hand, he's in trouble again. Well, he's hitting hard. Matolchi, though, has been around, not only in the pro game, but in the amateurs as well. He had 211 amateur contests. Feels what he's about in there, but he's, he's under some pressure now, Jim. Yeah, this is the response you want to see from Bambi. This is excellent stuff. He's prepared to stand his ground. I think he realises you cannot allow this fellow to keep coming forward. Meet him with the big punches, but that right hand certainly did the trick. And Bambi built on that. He loves that uppercut, doesn't he? And he's quite effective with it as well. And he knows now that he can hurt and shake up this man. Doesn't want to do too much wrestling inside. Just wants to step back, 
make some room for the punches. This fellow's strong, you don't want tired out, they're wrestling inside. He's sitting on top now, Bami. You'll feel a lot better about this. And now Matolci may be a little bit more worried about closing the range with Bami because he'll be worried about walking onto another one of those right hands. For him. Yeah, when he's moving in with the shots, too. See, this, he's not backing off now as he was in the first round. Maybe he was just having a little look at James Cook. He's an excellent coach, and they, maybe he was setting out just to have a little look at Matosh in the first round. But this is far more positive stuff from Bami now. We wondered coming out for the second round if he was going to be a worried man or how he would respond, but that was the perfect response. Good of a right hand, step right in with the punch. Bang on the chin. Matolshi again, testament to his, his toughness and his fitness that he can back up from that and got himself back into the fight. These little uppercuts are hurtful shots too. But Bami is now seeing the effect of his punches. He landed a couple of good shots in the first round, uh, which uh, didn't even cause the other fellow to blink. But that one certainly did. Fourth round, and it's only due to go six this one. Short distance, really, for Barmy, maybe at this stage of his career. His two defeats, the one against Melinda, I've mentioned, and against Jacek Bielski, the pole, when he was stopped in four rounds. He said he punched himself out that night. Uh, if Bami is as good as he thinks he is, then uh, six rounds uh, should be a doddle for him. He should really be able to set a pace for the six rounds. I think he wants to stop allowing this fella to come forward so much. Have to meet him and drive him back if possible. Bami has had some good wins. He stopped Bradley Price with a couple of seconds to go. Flirts again with switch hitting and going south for but only for a few seconds. Also beat uh, Michael Smythe and the Irish Olympian, Francis Barrett. Decent wins, they've got him in the British top five, most people anyway. See, I don't think he has the strength to wrestle with Matosha, so he wants to meet him head on. He wants to initiate the attack, that's much better. Get the punches off first, don't wait to see what this fella's doing. He's trying to counter, and it's not really working. that far down I guess your reflex is going to be good with that kind of uh, guard yeah but he doesn't have an awful lot of head movement so you want your, your, your hands up that little bit higher but this is a much better round for Barney so far positive there's good snap in his punches far better he's getting them off a little bit quicker right, step back right back oh. not crowding his work so much either at this uh, juncture he's getting a bit marked up around the face as well I think that's some more right hands from Bamman because even if they don't land cleanly, they're stopping Matolshi from, from throwing his own punches. So I'd like to see some one-twos, just the old-fashioned left-right. 
this is a fight Barmy has to win, really, to get his career going forward to get Second time, Matolchi has been down, and he's feeling the force here of this uh, Brixton banger. He used the boxing parlance. He's finding this a bit tougher than the fight he had with James there. Yes, well, as uh, twice he's been on the floor, and uh, he started running out of ideas uh, halfway through the fourth round. You can see at this stage, he can't get so close to Bami. Now, that was a good right hand. Bami landed a good right hand earlier in the round, which I think shook Matolshi a little bit. That's a definite knockdown, no question. The right hand is definitely the answer. Just show him the left, come over the right. He never misses with it. And you can see the effects of that punch. Another beauty. Much more confidence now in Bami's work. I've actually scored two rounds apiece. Here's the last round of this one. Bami looking to re-establish himself. White traps the 25-year-old from Brixton. and uh, word with uh, Barmy, who took a low blow in there as well. Looking a little thoughtful over there. Barmy. I would rather see him angry if you want the truth. Uh, he's feeling a little bit sorry for himself here, the look on his face. Get angry, Ted, and keep sharp. Obviously, Matos is going to go for broke, so it wouldn't be bad for Bami just to coast a little bit, cover up, keep his defences tight, then do, do his work in the second half of the round. That's the uppercut. He didn't quite get there with it that time. I do like his hands, Peter. He's obviously a very well-conditioned fighter, isn't he? Yeah, and I like his attitude as well, the way he's come back there uh, from a pretty shattering defeat a couple of fights ago. So it seems as though the show is back on the road again, which is good to see. Not the question with Barmy, and he will remain after it, as he's hurt by a left hand towards the end of the contest. That one seemed to wobble him a bit, Jim. Yep, I think it caught him a little bit high on the temple. Certainly shook him up. Once those hands up again, the job's done, as long as he doesn't throw it away. I was about to say, the question is whether he can come through to be a championship-level type of operator. We won't get the answer to that tonight. There's another left hook, and that one's stiff in the legs of Matolchi that time, who's prepared to take a risk or two. He's got a fighting hard, this Hungarian. He's tried very hard in this last round, trying to pull things around. We've got him behind, he must be behind. Well, definitely a tough match for Bami, for Bami and he, he's handled everything well. Winning it clearly on my card now. They've had some uncomfortable moments along the way, though. Particularly in round one, and once or twice in the last step by Matoji. Just seeing the round out now. Barmy um, just taking no chances. We still like to see the hands up. Yeah, needs to keep that defence. Nice and tight, he's won it here tonight. Back with a win, Ted Barmy. And that's what it means to him. I would have thought after all the embarrassment of losing to Samuel Malinga after he 
been given the big build up the last few months have been purgatory for him yeah it must have been and as i was saying earlier he was shattered himself by the defeat but uh, that's a good scalp to get on the record and that'll go a long way to restoring any confidence he lost there's what the computer says Palm united 62 to matolchus 53 although the hungarian threw a lot more shots he obviously missed with a lot more too yeah and i think the quality of the punches as well and the fact that two knockdowns uh, tilts the scoring well in mammy's favor takes his record to 15 wins against a couple of defeats well can he prove himself to be anything more than an operator at this kind of level can he come through to championship class we shall see Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of boxing, referee Martha McDonald has scored this contest for Matolchi, 54 points. For Bami, 58 points. Your winner from Brixton, Dangerous Ted and me. Make sure your appreciation, please, for Joseph Matolchi. There's a thing, Barry. A fighter whose nickname is perfect. He really is dangerous, isn't he? Yeah, there's no doubt about that. This guy's a really good fighter. I know the Malinga beat him and stopped him, and I know that it's uh, it, it was a bit of a setback for him. The bottom line is this guy can fight. Apart from Witter and Hatton at the top of the division, this guy isn't far off the likes of Eamon McGee. He's a tremendous puncher, and he's got real ability. He can, if he can learn to fight under pressure, to handle pressure a little bit better, keep busy, he's really going to be someone to look forward to. Will quality in opposition allow him to learn that skill? I think regular fights and quality opposition is going to give him the sort of the standard that he needs, and uh, he can really bang, which is the, the ghetto clause. And he is very exciting to watch. Bami and Conan Lyons on their way back then. Top of the bill here tonight, Richard Williams. And a superb display as he regained the Commonwealth light middleweight title in 